I I really don't think about like competition this time. Finally, we could start again and a good preparation for this. We really miss to communicate something. This is uh, an unknown situation. I think it's a challenge for us. But um, honestly, we accepted the challenge. I was thinking a lot during the pandemic situation. Uh, my career went to like a stall after uh, the good results in 2019. The 2020 season was uh, a little bit um, down for me. So I decided to change all my life, change place where I live, change place where I practice, you know, go away from my family, my girlfriend. It's really tough at the beginning because you miss all the day everyone you miss your life but then uh, you know a couple of months you get new friends uh, then you realize that you can go to your family uh, once a week it's, it's tough i will do this for uh, for years now maybe i don't know <laughs> I will see, but uh, this season will bring me a lot of happiness, I'm sure about that. Um, mental strength is very important this time because, um, yeah, we are off the ice and it's very hard for everybody because we, we don't see a lot of people. But I think uh, my brother, Jurek, he has a real good vision on it because he always started with doing uh, Zoom lessons. And yeah, we just keep on training, not together, but everybody apart, but over Zoom. So it felt like a little bit together. So I think that was one of the biggest things I was um, looking forward through my days and uh, doing all the workouts together via Zoom. It's been definitely difficult trying to find different ways to adapt during COVID. But I feel like now after a year of it, I've definitely become very proficient. Um, you know, when in Canada where I train currently, um, all the gyms have been closed for almost the entire time during lockdown, um, which they're still closed. Um, so I've gotten really, really comfortable about like working out in my room and in my basement and doing those Zoom workouts and just being able to manage with as little of extra equipment as possible. So yes, I feel, you know, at the beginning, really difficult. And I was a really, uh, I had to kind of keep reminding myself that I could still do it without the gyms and without the cardio machines and without the typical face-to-face uh, -face interactions with my trainers. But, you know, we're here a year later, we've managed. I feel really strong and prepared. So I definitely, definitely feel very proficient in the minimalist when it comes to kind of uh, the training aspect of what you need to uh, succeed. about it because I was just keep training and 
this time I was training in Korea, so it was a little different for me. So I was I was just keep training. I I really don't think about like competition this time. So actually, when the, the news about the World Championship came out and we were really happy about it, this, and uh, finally we could start again and a good preparation for this. Yeah, because like a couple like us, um, with experience and they have, we have already elements. We don't need to work on new elements. So we actually work every season like five weeks to go, four weeks to go, three weeks to go. And not to have for us this kind of schedule, it was so hard because um, you, you don't find the motivation. It's just you get in shape for what? It's like so hard. And then uh, uh, you, you feel competition is coming and then it's not coming. And then everybody come back to home. Nobody can, can move. So for our brain, you know, we are at the last seasons, you know, because we're, we're, we're kind of old <laughs> and we want to give everything to, to, the, to the audience. Like, like we said, we always skate for us, but now we are skating for, for the public, for the audience, because we want to give something more that young people, young skater can give. So for that, this, this year we work especially on the emotion that we had, that we felt in the apartment when we was close. You know, the distance, the hug was missing. And I think in this competition, we can give this to the public. We really miss to communicate something. This is uh, an unknown situation, unprecedented situation for everybody. And to match this situation, uh, this is really a, a challenge. Fortunately, we succeeded in uh, meeting this challenge. But when you're asking what's the biggest challenge, this, this was the biggest challenge. I'm very much pleased because, you know, we have the worldwide pandemic, and despite this pandemic, we are able to organize the world's uh, figure here in Stockholm with uh, 40 nationalities attending and almost 200 figure skaters attending. So I'm really grateful that we are able to organize the worlds here. And I would like to thank of course, the Swedish Figure Skating Association very much, the organizing committee, the city of Stockholm, and of course, all skaters, coaches, team leaders, all involved very much that we are able to make the worlds here in uh, Stockholm possible. I think it's a challenge for us, but uh, I think uh, in the world, the whole people seem like us. So we just do no more things, keep healthy, keep training, do no more things and uh, try our best every day and find new us. We are quite an experienced team, but also for us, this is a new situation as for all of us. Mentally, it is demanding a lot. Um, I can tell you honestly, it is not an easy time. It is challenging, it is requesting a lot. But um, honestly, we accepted the challenge. We wanted to host this event in the best way. And we didn't mind working overnight hours, making the extra effort, the extra step to make this happen again. This is our aim always to make events possible for the athletes, for the skaters. Um, the best response you can see 
is when you see the skaters, you look into their eyes and you see the happiness of being in the eyes. And that's what we work for. And that's uh, compensating all the effort and the hard work behind. It is worth to go the extra step for this. It's just thank you to this sport. It's my first world championship. Success for us is going out and just being able to skate the way we know how to skate. Doing something that somebody hasn't done before. Really take care of my health. We just take the chance to, to perform once again. We gave the 100% every day. It's a success when all skaters can return home safely. I think this concept worked well. This world title is, is unique. Winning would be everything clean. Oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs>